Hey guys, welcome to this most awaited video series of social authentication in Django. So this is part one video and in this video, we are going to take a look at how to configure the project and the plugin. Before getting started, make sure to join our Facebook group. The link is in the description below because I try to answer all the questions over there and like we have good amount of people who can answer you over there. So make sure to join that. So now let's get started. First of all, this is the plugin that we are going to use that is called as Django All Auth. So in order to search that, uh, we have to type Django All Auth. We have to press enter. This is the first link that we have to open and this is where we'll reach. After that, we can go to installations and like this, uh, it tells us how to install and what are the configurations needed. So we are not going to uh, like exactly go over here and look and do. I'm going to tell you all how to do it and just follow along and you all will have like good outcome after this video series. So we'll jump into the code editor now and I will start by creating a new environment. Actually, we uh, we are not going to use virtual environment anymore because I like now PPNV. So we are going to use that PPNV shell to activate the create and activate the environment. Yes, it also activated it and I don't have to manually do, do it. So first we'll install the Django. So pip env it is pip env install Django. And the best thing is it also creates a pip file which consists of all the packages that it contains and also pip log file. So that's why I have shifted to using pip env now. Now Django is installed. Let me clear and we are going to use the package now. So it is all auth right. So I'm going to copy till this go back pip env and paste it that is install django all auth it will take some time don't worry so now our packages are installed so let's start by creating our project okay so the project creation steps are same that is django admin start project and i will call it as src because that's that that is what is in my head okay so we are going to navigate inside the src we'll create our first app django admin start app and i'll call it as demo as always now we will go to settings.py okay so i will close this src src settings.py okay so first of all we'll install our package sorry uh, the app okay so demo now we will actually uh, let's create our template directory over here. So I will call it as template underscore dir and this will be taking base dir slash oh sorry it is front slash and I will give it as templates okay and then I'm going to put a forward slash over here. So we are going to take this template directory and install it over here. Okay so our base like basic Django configuration is done. Now let's start with configuring our uh, third party app. Okay. So in order to configure our third party app, we have to install few more packages over here. Not really install, but we have to put it into installed apps. Okay. So first will be static. Okay. So that is from Django dot contrib import static. So sorry, <laughs> it is sites. So this is what our first installation looks like please make sure it is after static files and before our app okay after this we are going to install uh, all auth package so all auth once that is done we have to uh, install three more things uh, i can actually before installing that let me show you all on the on the site itself so if you check uh, they require this and did I miss auth? Let me verify if I missed auth over here. No, auth is present, messages are present. So yes, we uh, we did not miss any of these packages. So these are the mandatory uh, installed apps that are required. All auth, then all auth dot account, then all auth dot social account. After this, uh, what kind of provider you want to use? Say I want to log in using Google, right? Uh, so uh, for that, there should be Google. Yep. So there is Google. So this is what we will install. Say if you wanted to do it for Facebook, right? So there is something called as Facebook. So we will install this now dot count. So that is what is over here. Then dot social account. Okay. Dot social account. So these are the mandatory installs that we require. After this, based on what kind of need you have, if you want to do Facebook, then you should install 
Facebook over here. Now where it went? Facebook here. If you want Google, we should install this. So I'm going to install this one because we are going to use Google uh, authentication for this one. And I believe Google is, uh, people prefer Google authentication over other authentications mostly. But then based on your need, you can change this. So this is done. Now we don't have anything in the middleware to configure. Yep, we don't have. Then in templates, we have to make a change. Okay, so we'll go back to over here and we'll see. So con or whatever are already present, they should be there. Then for all of this is required. Okay, so this is what we are going to copy and paste it over there. Actually, if you see, this is the request and this is already present over here. So we don't even need any, we don't even need to change this. Okay, so templates are already done now this is not present okay so we have to copy and paste this one and i'm going to paste it over here uh, just just for y'all we are going to search and if you see results is just one that is the one which we have pasted just now so previously it is not there i'm going to remove all these comments and extra things and these are the two things that we require okay so our authentication backend is set up now if we scroll down there are a few more settings that is site ID and social account provider. And I will make one more setting. So first we'll copy this one site ID and we'll go down, paste it site ID one. For now, let's keep it to one. I will explain in next few videos, what is this used for and how we are going to use it. Okay. Then we are going to do one more configuration that is login redirect URL. Okay. So you can set it to any URL that you want, but I'm going to set it to slash that means at index level. Okay. So after login user will be sent to this path, then we are going to do this setting. Okay. Social authentication, social all of provider. I'm going to just copy till this much social account provider because I'm at terrible at spelling uh, spelling. So that's why I have just copied it because I should not, uh, there should not be problem because of this spelling. Okay. So over here we are going to do is, uh, since I'm using Google for authentication, so I'm going to give Google over here. Okay. Then it will have, I have already worked with Google authentication previously, and I know it has something called a scope. And then we also have to provide auth params. Okay. So it is not present over here. So that's why I am telling you. So it will have two things scope S C O P scope and uh, this will be like list scopes means uh, during login what kind of uh, like data you want to fetch from the Google. So I want to fetch profile because that will consist of users. Yeah, basically users name and then I'm also going to configure uh, email over here because I want to also take users email for sign up. Okay. That's why these two things so that based on email, uh, we can identify the user also next time and profile will consist of his name. So these are scopes. Then there's one more thing over here. If you see, I'm sometime using double code, sometime using single code. There's no hard and fast rule of using this mixed or like anything. If you all want, you'll follow with double quotes. If you all want, you'll follow with single quotes. Okay. Y'all can use it over the project. So we'll move to auth param. Okay. So auth params. So this is a dictionary and in this one we have access type. Okay. Access type and this is online. Uh, that's it. And if we go back to this, uh, documentation we will see over here app there is something called as app and it requires client secret and key these are the things that we are not going to configure into uh, the settings.py we are going to configure it at database level okay so it can be taken from there as well that's why we have not put it uh, in our settings.py so in next few videos we will do that in settings, sorry, in database. Now our settings is ready for this particular uh, plugin. We just have to do one more thing. We will include these accounts in our URL start by. So we will go back to the browser, sorry, to the code editor. We'll go to the URL start by and over here, we are going to just paste it. So path accounts and over here include auth, uh, sorry, all auth.urls. 
and we have to import the include and it comes from urls so that's it so quickly we have installed our django and the package then we have created our project and also our app then we have configured everything in settings.py so configurations like template directory then all these installed app imports along with that we have in, like installed the template directory over here then authentication backend that is what we have set up after that we have set up site id as one login redirect as this and social auth provider google as this with all this data okay so that's it guys for this video in the next video we will see how to get the google credentials uh, and then use it in our project so thank you guys for watching this video make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share and also don't forget to like join the group so see you in the next one